So, I actually have a special uh, treat for Ashlix today. She's going to be trying a cockroach instead of a cricket. So yeah, I'm going to wait for some people to get into the stream, get the notifications on, and uh, yeah. Asterix is currently chilling here. I picked up her enclosure and she just... She ran all over the place. All over a water ball and that stuff. So yeah. But, um... She has gotten very big. Her abdomen has gotten bigger since she's had that last cricket. Which I showed in the other live stream we did. And... I was kind of expecting her to molt. Uh, but she didn't. Um, I gave her a full week to molt and two extra days to molt and um, she has not molted but she does have a very big abdomen so I'm expecting a molt soon of some kind so yeah I think she will molt soon I'm hoping so because once she gets bigger it's gonna be insane I, I can't wait but yeah first time she molted I was extremely so happy like insanely happy it was insane but yeah I have her here this is her she's on the side she was down at the bottom, but because I picked up her enclosure, she ran out. She ran all over the place. Also, she is not a burrower. She does not burrow. But the only time she's ever burrowed was when she molted, and um, that was literally it. <laughs> but she made in this enclosure. She's made a burrow back there, uh, behind the sticker, which has her name on it. Like, she put herself upside down for some reason, and I'm not sure why, and I was hoping that she wasn't going to molt in that position. Luckily, she didn't. But, yeah, I do think she's planning on molting soon. But, yeah, I'm going to be giving her a baby, uh, well, the smallest uh, cockroach I have, which is a Debbie cockroach. I'm going to see how she does with that. Because I actually have no more crickets. Um, I'm actually using the container, because I cleaned out the container that the crickets were in, and I'm using it now for the laptop to be on. So yeah, I'm going to be feeding her a cric uh, cockroach instead. I will eventually, might be ordering in some crickets, more crickets, um, probably just like a stack of ten. Well, not a stack of ten, but a pack of ten. So, just in case you can't take the cockroaches, because I know that even though the baby ones are small, she might not want to. And plus, she goes after activity as well. So the cockroach will need to be moving for her to attack it. She, she goes after activity. That's kind of it. Unless she bumps into the cockroach and then eats it. <laughs> but yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today. It's her first time going to eat a cockroach. I have the uh, cockroaches here. They're in this container. Well, box. I know this is not really an ideal, um, well, let's say, home for cockroaches. But this is all I can do. They're in this. It's absolutely massive. Um, we tried, well, my family tried, because I asked them to go get the, um, box for them, to get a really deep one, so they can, you know, obviously have more room, and not able to get out <laughs> if I put more, uh, uh, curtains in there. But, um, yeah, that's all we could get, and it's dark enough, they're fine and happy in it, they, they love it in there, they love it in there, and I have about... I ordered like a stack of um, two sixes, so yeah, but I got like 30 in here, <laughs> I'm pretty sure the guy just went, just give him, just give him any amount, <laughs> and I got more than I anticipated, so yeah, they're, they're fine in there, I have um, a good amount for starting a colony, which is great, because obviously I do want to breed them, because obviously I know that crickets are harder to deal with rather than cockroaches, and deadly, co deadly cockroaches are probably the best. Uh, so yeah, I've I'm, I'm been using them now instead. So yeah, if um, anyone is interested in watching uh, Asterix take down a cockroach, yeah, this is what's going to be happening. She's right here in an enclosure. I do want her to molt though, because I think if she molts about, let's say, two to three more times she might be big enough for her actual enclosure that she has I had when I had her the sling I didn't think she was gonna be that small I thought she was gonna be like maybe the palm of my hand kind of size and so I assumed that she'd fit perfectly in her uh, enclosure that I got her 
and she was just way too small for it, so I had to improvise, and I got these other enclosures for her. She's been rehoused about three times, <laughs> seeing as uh, the first enclosure I had, in her I had her in was obviously an emergency setup. It was not suitable, so I then set her up in another enclosure where I could watch her feeding more often and actually, you know, keep an eye on her. Um, of course, that one was very long. It didn't have very wideness. Um, so she didn't use it diagonally, diagonally, however you pronounce that. Uh, but yeah, she didn't use it like that, and so it got very small for her because obviously she was just running, she was just going in circles. That was it. And I didn't put a lot of substrate in. I put an, I put a decent amount in there because of how small she was. But she eventually got big. Like, not big, big, as in, like, she was about to molt, but big enough that it was clearly too big for her. So then I eventually put her into this, where I know for a fact she'll be fine in here. She'll be fine. It's probably going to last two to three molts. And, yeah. I'll do her just nicely. I'm just waiting now because obviously I want to give people time to get in the live stream. Why am I using my hands? Okay, there we go. I just needed to get the other sh the stream up so I can see what was going on on other people's side of things. So yeah, I will be feeding Asterix a cockroach. Asterix, by the way, is um, Latin for little star. Okay, she's a Brazilian black. Um, I don't know how to pronounce her other uh, name for Brazilian black. I just, I have no idea. I know it's kind of like Grandma's Dola Puerto Rico, something like that. I don't know. I probably butchered the hell out of that. But yeah, <laughs> this is um, what I've been dealing with. <laughs> It's the struggle of naming things. <laughs> but yeah, um, she's a Brazilian black, that's all I can really much uh, say about her. She is a Brazilian black, and I try and make sure to keep her enclosure um, dry, but not uh, too dry that it's like, like a desert, <laughs> basically. So I know you're not supposed to give so much water to uh, Brazilian blacks. And that's what I did at first, because I was stupid. <laughs> but she's fine. I, I, I always put a lot, uh, like a, probably a decent amount. But then I realized, okay, she doesn't need that much. She, to be honest, she doesn't really need it at all. <laughs> the only thing she needs is a water bowl. And that was it. But she has um, a lid. Uh, uh, a lid to one of the um, bottles downstairs that she has been using. And she's been doing fine with it. So, she's been doing perfectly fine, and yeah, she she did drink out of it, which is the first time in forever, which I was surprised to. But yeah, now we're gonna be feeding you a cockroach. It's, it's kind of insane feeding her a cockroach because I um, wanted medium cockroaches because I assumed that they were going to be very small for her to take, but apparently they were way too big. Um, then I realized that there are actually baby baby ones. So yeah, I'm going to be feeding her one of them. I'm going to loosen her lid to her enclosure so I don't have to struggle when opening it within the cockroach in my head. Open it this way without scaring her. The other thing is that she is on the side, like right there, which, you know, worries me a bit because if I lift up the lid and I just let her be, she might come out, because I've known that she does go to the top very a lot. She's um, she's on, she's an on-display tarantula. She loves um, just being on display. She doesn't like burrowing. It's not something she really does. 
she loves being on the side seeing what's going on in that like the first time she ever made a burrow was actually purposely opened up a lot like she made the burrow as it go down but she opened it up so much just so she can sit on the side and watch everything that's going on <laughs> so yeah I will get my tongs that are up here I have four sets of tongs two are bamboo uh, the other one is shorter and the other one is longer and then I have um, two of these but the other one has like a little bend at the end uh, so you can probably get to around narrower places but yeah I'm going to go in here um, I recently actually gave these guys uh, oh yeah they're, they're at the food right now I recently actually gave these guys a food bowl because I was an idiot and didn't did not give them food bowls I just basically put watermelon in here and that was it. I didn't cut up the watermelon. Well, I did. I cut up a good chunk of it, but not like in pieces. And so, that was so really stupid of me because then the juice got everywhere from the watermelon. So I had to clean all of that up, which I did, which with no problem, because obviously I'm not a big baby but about that. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it was kind of annoying to, to have to deal with that because they were all in there and I couldn't exactly just take them out one by one and then clean it all out which would I which would I which I would have loved to done but English <laughs> um, but I just couldn't do that I had to keep them in here because obviously this is the only place that they know um, that there are some very baby baby ones in there and I'm hoping eventually you know they'll um, actually uh, breed because that's what I want. I'm the whole point of doing this is so that they will eventually become my personal little um, helpers to feed my tarantulas. <laughs> of course, I only have one tarantula at the moment. Um, I'm not planning on getting any more because obviously I want um, Ashtix to become mature first because then it means I've had her for about two years and I've looked after a tarantula for about two years. It's just not a good idea for me to get more slings while I'm still looking after a sling who I don't properly know full information about. Like, you could learn so much information about a tarantula, but looking after it is completely different, and that's what I want to do. I want to look after the tarantula, know I can actually uh, look after one with the knowledge I know, and then go from there. So far, Asterix has been fine. She's been perfectly fine. Uh, I haven't picked her up once, though, and I should have done when I got her, because obviously she was a sling then. Well, she's still like now, but she was much smaller then, so I know that if she did bite me, it wouldn't be much of a big issue. It would have been like first time handling, and I know um, tarantula handings aren't really advised, but obviously every once in a while you want to have that, um, you, at least once in your life, you want to hold your tarantula. Like, that's just, that's just something. <laughs> so yeah, eventually I do want to hold her, but of course I want to make a bond, if you know what I mean. I know pro people are probably like, you can't make a bond with a tarantula because a tarantula just wants to run away constantly. But I'm sure that there's a possibility that you can make a bond with a tarantula. I'm trying to find the baby ones, which is really difficult because they're that small. <laughs> there's so many curtain like egg curtains in here, it's unbelievable. Oh, I found a baby one. Okay, I'm hoping this is small enough for Asterix. Like, it's very tiny. Like, tiny, tiny. It's very tiny. So, let's see if I can do this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, live stream is lagging as well. Whoops. That was not meant to happen. Okay, let's see if I can do this. Asterix is there. You can see her. She's right there. I just gotta open this up and put it in. Oh, okay. Okay, there we go. It's in. It's probably slightly damaged, though. That's the only thing. It's upside down on its back. Are you serious? <laughs> it's upside down on its back. It is down there on its back while Asterix is by my hand here. I'm going to not do upper lid because I'm not sure if I need to open it again. But yeah, it's down there on its back. 
And I'm hope- I just wanted to get up. Like, I actually just wanted to get up. Asterix, no bolt it, please. <laughs> because she- she has begun to start bolting now. Which is not something that I want. I do not want her to be a bolty tarantula because... Um, the whole point of getting her was to be a Brazilian black to not bolt. But, uh, I know that with tarantula bolts, I just don't want her to be very bolty. Like, the whole point of being a beginner uh, tarantula, like, I know a lot of people say that there's not really much of a bit bigger beginner tarantula, but there are ones that are just easier to look after, such as a Brazilian black. And I know it, it varies from personality to personality with tarantulas, and that your tarantula could be perfectly fine and mine could be very vicious, even though they're the same species. Um, but yeah, I just hope that she's a bit, you know, a karma one. Because that would help a lot. <laughs> Um, I, I do love, um, aggressive takedowns, though, and I do hope I can get one from her. I just don't want her bolting out because she is so close to the side of the enclosure. Like, she's right there. Um, the cockroach has not moved. It has not moved from its spot. It is staying there. It has not moved a single muscle. It is... <laughs> All it has done is kicked its legs <laughs> to try and get itself back up. So, yeah, I'm not sure... I can do here. Hmm. I don't know. So I put my tongues in there, and I need to technically have the lid completely off to put my tongues in there and lift that cricket up. Hmm. I could technically do it. If I was brave enough. <laughs> if I was brave enough. <laughs> if I was brave enough, I could technically do it. Oh, hands are shaking. Stop shaking. Please. Okay. Okay. <sighs> I put it on its side, the cockroach, so then maybe it will actually move. I'm hoping so. So then it can actually grab the ground, maybe. Please. I would appreciate it. Um, it's still down there. While she is up here. Right there. Come on. Grab the ground, why don't you? Oh, there you go. Go on. You gotcha. You got it. You got it. Go on. It's moving. <laughs> it's moving. It's moving very slightly. There you go. You got it. I did injure it. I hurt it. Like, I squeezed it uh, twice. So it's probably not doing very well. But yeah, I'm hoping Asterix can actually take this cockroach down. She's never had a cockroach before, so it'll be very new for her. But I wish she would get down from that area and be near the cockroach because you know that would be pretty cool I don't exactly want to poke her either because last time um, actually not last time because I've never poked her before huh. um, well actually the first time I've ever poked her she did bolt um, into the enclosure so yeah but it was into the enclosure not like out of the enclosure I need that cockroach to stop moving it needs to start moving his butt <laughs> look Look, you see this? <laughs> it needs it needs to move. Move your booty. No, it is not interested. I don't exactly want to poke her though. I just do not because I know that she will bolt of some kind. She'll bolt of some kind. Upside down the water dish, really? It's in the water dish now. Go on, Asterix. Go get it. Asterix, go. Go. Move it. <laughs> you can do this, Asterix. You can do this. It's power. You have the power. Go on. There you go. You can see she's up there. The cockroach is down there. Go on, Asterix, come on, you can do this. You have power, you can do this. I wonder if I can uh, spray some water in there and she jump down. I could technically do that. Because I don't want to poke her, because that's way too dangerous. <laughs> but yeah, I'll get the water. 
I have to put the lid back. I just forgot. I actually had the cockroaches out. Ah, and I've got to put the lid back. That's funny. Let's put this back. Make sure Asterix is being good. Okay, there we go. Actually, I put that like that. Okay. <gasps> okay. I don't think I need the cockroaches to escape because obviously they're in a enclosure where they can't get up the walls. So if I know if I spray this close to her, she might... I don't exactly want it to go on her though, that's the thing. Oh, she moved upwards. <laughs> she moved upwards instead of downwards. <laughs> Hmm. I'm really thinking here. <laughs> Cause cockroach is down there and she's up there. This is not helping the situation at all. Wanted to go down. Just so you can get it on a uh, live stream. And she took down a cockroach. Go do this asterisk. You have the power. Within you. She's very close to getting out. <laughs> she is very close. <laughs> Come on, Asterix, you can do this. Go, you can do this. Her legs are moving to the movement I do. Which, you know, is good. She's acknowledged that there's movement. But she has not gotten down from that area yet to eat that cockroach. And then again, she could be in pre molt so I don't know really because she could be in pre-molt which you know is, is fine because obviously a cockroach is easier to get out of the enclosure than a cricket but if she is in pre-molt then that's fine because obviously I do want her to molt <laughs> thank you <laughs> I appreciate the uh, support it's just kind of difficult because Ashix won't get down <laughs> And just waiting for her to move her butt. Like, she won't get down. And the cockroach is down there, moving around. I do not want the cockroach to uh, burrow, though, that's the thing. I do not want that to happen. She's not moving a single muscle. She's staying up there. She doesn't care. <laughs> hmm. I wonder what I could do for this situation. <laughs> I don't know. I don't exactly want to poke her either because I'm not sure what would happen if I poked her. I don't know. I also tied up the lid as well, so I'm going to have to untie it. <laughs> Sometimes when I untie the lid, she does bolt away. Like she knows. She's just, like she's got a plan in her mind to escape. I do not want to touch her. Oh, she knows. Oh, oh, she fell, she fell, she fell. This guy poked her a little bit. There you go, poked her a bit. She fell right down next to the cockroach. Next to the cockroach. Right there. She is next to the enemy. Asterix, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta take down. You gotta do this. It's playing dead. It's, it's playing dead. The cockroach is playing dead. Look, Asterix, you can do this. Asterix, come on. You can do this. You have the power within you. Asterix, come on. The cockroach is not moving a single muscle. She has no idea it is there because the cockroach is now... Oh, the cockroach is moving. It's moving a tiny bit. It needs to be a bit more than that. Come on. Come on. Blizz. Oh my goodness. I can't believe I actually touched her. Like, I've never actually done that before. That was pretty awesome. Pretty brave of me, actually. Come on. Come on. You can do this, Asterix. Cockroach is right there. You have your prize winning opportunity. Prize winning opportunity. Come on. You 
You can do it, Asterix. Come on. She has not moved a single muscle. What if I try and, like, uh, alert her that I'm still here? Oh, that, that got her to move. She moves when I undo the... Oh, oh, she's moved, she's moved, she's moved. She has definitely moved. Oh, she's... Oh, she's hiding. She's, uh, she's hiding. She's hiding. She's going over there. Last time she did that was when she wanted to hide. She is hiding. I'm going to see... Mm, I don't know. She's facing towards an area where she possibly could get out. Um, I'm going to take this this side. Yes, she is. She is hiding. Therefore, she is afraid. She has never had a cockroach, by the way. Never in her life. So she's probably wondering what the hell a um, cockroach is. But the si it'll be still the same. It would still be something that she would find in the wild and eat. Because, you know, cockroaches are very common in the world. I don't think she'll bolt. Will she? Down there, by her, I'm hoping she gets it or something. I'm really hoping so, because she's she's hiding. I don't know if you can see, but she's she's hiding. Because there, in this area here, that's where her burrow was. She created a whole entire um, burrow right there. And, I, and her cold bug was there, but obviously I had to remove it because obviously it was not a big enough burrow for her to molt in, in case she did want to molt. So I just moved the tiny bit of cold bug out the way, so now it's a bit more open. And that's where she hid. So yeah, that's where she's gone now. I don't know if she'll eat there, I don't know. She has not moved from there. And then the cricket, well, cockroach, is not moving. It is not. Oh my goodness, this is like insane. Okay. I do want the cockroach to move. The only thing it's really close to her and still nothing. Hmm. She has not bit my tongues once though. And she didn't even when I when I nudged her with her legs, I nudged her a bit with her legs, and she didn't attack. So I'm assuming that she won't. Oh my gosh! This is probably really dangerous with me. Ah! Look, I <laughs> she went upwards. Oh, to where her other, like I said, she did make a burrow around this direction. And that's where she's gone right now. You can see her leg somewhere, maybe? She's gone up there now. Oh my gosh, come on. Does she does she now want food? Is she really in pre-molt? Because I have no idea. I know her abdomen is really big. And she could possibly molt soon. I just I just want to get the... Because um, I know that before, like... The, the prey obviously has to be really close to her for her to approach it. For her to grab and munch. So yeah, I just I just want to get to that position where she, where I actually see a possible decision where she would have taken it but didn't. And then I know that okay, yes, she's in uh, in pre molt. She obviously won't take the prey then. But oh my gosh, this is so nerve wracking. It generally is um, scary to be honest because you don't know. Like you could have the lid open. Oh. <laughs> Okay, she she is going around the entire enclosure. Okay, she's going around, she's going around, she's going around. She might find the cockroach. She might find the cockroach. Hold up, if she goes any further, she'll find the cockroach. Come on, go. you can do this. If she goes... Oh, no, don't go up, don't go up, don't go up. Oh, Come on, if you just went a little bit, a little bit to the right, you would have found the cockroach. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Come on, you could have you had food. You, you could have ate. Um, are you really in pre-molt? You in pre-molt? I'm gonna... Hmm, I don't know. Because I don't want to assume she's in pre-molt and then she really isn't and then she doesn't get fed. Even though she probably can last about two weeks without feeding. She does have a very big abdomen, as you can see. It oh! Okay, she moved, she moved, she moved, she moved. Okay. Go on, Asterix, you can do it! Do the takedown! It's so close to her, come on. Well, not close enough that I would recommend that, that I would say that it's close enough to her for her to eat. 
but it's close. Come on, Ashley, you can do this. Come on. Come on. Come on, Ashtix. Come on. You can do it. But I tighten a little bit more. Slowly. Tighten the lid. And try and get a good glimpse of the attack. Come on, Asterix. Come on, you can do this. This is what you've lived for. To attack, prey, predators. Come on, you can do this. Come on. Come on. You got this. You can take this prey down. You can take the cockroach It's very tiny. You can do it. <gasps> oh! 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 Just move closer to it. I think she's realized that it's there or something. I don't know. <gasps> oh! Wait, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Wait, did she completely ignore it? Okay, yeah, I think she completely ignored it. I think, yeah, she's gone back into hiding now. Yeah, I would definitely say she is in primo, unfortunately, so there'll be no feeding of her attack down. Um, yeah, she is in primo, apparently, so I'm, I'm positive she's now in primo because she was so close, too close, in fact, that uh, if it was a cricket, she would have most likely have eaten it. So I'm going to try and get the cockroach out without scaring her because I do not want her to bolt out because I know fa for a fact she will bolt out. And she's probably feeling really um, scared right now. Yeah, like she's gone into a little hidey hole. She's gone into everything. Uh, I just need to grab the cockroach. And I'll open the cockroach lid just so I can show it back in there. And yes, by the way, there are tiny little holes in the cockroach's um, enclosure. And many tiny holes that made me lightheaded to do so many. <laughs> Okay, so I'm hoping she won't run out when I try and grab the cockroach. I just want the cockroach, baby. I don't want anything else. And I have the cockroach. Okay, and I'm going to put it back into the enclosure. There you go. It probably is um, going to die, though, because I did injure it. But yeah, there are, I know that the um, cockroaches will deal with that. Whew. Yeah. But yeah, that's... Uh, I'll lift this up. But yeah, unfortunately we won't be seeing a tarantula sling take down um, because she clearly is in uh, pre-molt. Um, ever since she molted the first time in my care, she has been reckless. Um, she would she's so active she would be so active and I've never seen her actually go to a burrow and um, be afraid like that um, and besides the first time I had her before she molted she was obviously really terrified and, and she just wanted to be left alone <laughs> and so yeah now that she molted which was uh, the first time in my care uh, she's been a lot more open a lot more out not really caring much so the fact that she's now um, hiding away in an area where she used to hide when she was when she, before she molted, first time, clearly shows that she's probably in pre-molt. So yeah, unfortunately no takedown, but hopefully um, she'll molt soon, and then you guys get to see her beautiful colors that shine through and how big she gets. Because obviously when the tarantula molts, the first time she molted, I was so surprised with how big she had grown. She'd grown like an extra two inches. It was insane. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, unfortunately, we did not get a takedown of a cricket. But I'm assuming um, the fact that she's had a week and two extra days and probably another week for her, to, for her to molt. And then, obviously, another week on that because... Well, not another week because that would be way too many weeks. She needed to be fed. About um, another week, she might be molted by then. So hopefully when that does happen, she'll probably be hungry enough for a cockroach. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. There will most likely be a cockroach feeding in the next live stream because obviously she'll be then be molted. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. 
and I'll catch you all in the next live stream. I will be posting updates here about asterisks and stuff like that. Um, obviously posting memes as well because the memes are freaking hilarious. The tarantula memes. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm gonna wait for the lag to disappear. Then I will say goodbye. But yeah, thank you guys um, for being here. It's it's honestly amazing to have this community between you all. Um, the only reason I started this community was because I got one tarantula. And I knew a lot of other uh, tarantula communities and such, but they... I don't think they really, um, let's say, match what I was looking for. I was looking for a community base just to hang out with and do live streams with, more than just sending uh, videos and stuff like that and showing pictures of tarantulas. I wanted a more personal and more open group where we do live streams quite often and um, yeah. It would be pretty cool as well, um, after all the uh, quarantine and stuff like that is over, that um, if anyone is in Cornwall, because I'm in Cornwall, would like to meet up and we get to see each other's tarantulas, that would be pretty cool. That is my cat. Well, that is my cat in the background. <laughs> if you're wondering what that is, that is, that's my cat on my bed. But yeah, it would be pretty cool to do that. I would love to be able to interact with the community more and just be there for a lot more things and learn along as well with you guys because I know there's probably going to be a beginners in here because obviously I'm a beginner still and I own the group so <laughs> there is a page so you can go and enjoy the tarantula community page and like it and follow it <laughs> and of course I will be uploading this YouTube, this uh, live stream to YouTube as well so if you guys want to check that out it will be on the YouTube channel um, but yeah I'm going to end the live stream now thank you guys so much for watching I'll post the um, a video of the live stream on the YouTube channel into the group when I've uploaded it like I did before so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next week if Ashix is ready to molt if Ashix has molted um, so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time bye 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 <laughs> see you later guys <laughs>